When Thanos arrives with his most fearsome foes, it's time for Earth's mightiest heroes to assemble to once again fight for the fate of the universe. Can our heroes best Thanos before he collects the Infinity Stones, or will the Snap take care of those pesky heroes once and for all? These are the questions at the heart of Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game which was designed by Alexander Ortloff and published by Z-Man Games who helped sponsor this video. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph here at Board Game Geek and it looks like Spider-Man is swinging by so let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet is a love letter game which pits one player controlling Thanos against one to five other players controlling Earth's mightiest heroes who hope to strike down the Mad Titan. Each player will be given a reference card that serves to remind everyone of each card's power. Heroes will always hold one card in their hand while Thanos will hold two. On a hero's turn, the active player will draw a card and then choose one card to play face up in front of them, making use of that card's power if they wish. Each card, numbered 1 through 6, will have a different ability. Level 1 cards allow players to guess a number in Thanos' hand. If they guess correctly, that card is defeated and placed face up on the table and Thanos' health is drained by 1. Level 2 cards allow the active player to choose a teammate to look at one of Thanos' cards, giving them valuable information. Value 3 cards allow a hero to fight Thanos. Here, Thanos will reveal a card secretly to the player fighting them, and the hero uses the card in their hand. Whichever card is higher wins the fight, defeating the other card. The defeated player places their card face up in front of them, loses health, and then redraws cards. If an Infinity Stone is defeated, Thanos must first redraw cards and then shuffle that Infinity Stone back into their deck of cards. Level 4 hero cards allow players to give a power token to a teammate or yourself. One power token must be used in a fight if one is present and will boost the power of the card played by two. Level 5 hero cards allow the active player to look at the top three cards of the hero deck and rearrange them however they please. The level 6 hero cards allow the active player to fight Thanos or they can call on the aid of a teammate to have them fight Thanos instead. But Thanos isn't planning on sitting around letting you wail on him. He plans to defeat your heroes whether by simply pummeling them into the ground or using the almighty snap. Thanos has two paths to victory. He can drain the health of the heroes or if he can collect all six infinity stones between the cards in front of him and cards in his hand, he snaps successfully and wins. Thanos will carry two cards in hand at all times for more options and has cards numbered 1 through 7. However, there are also six Infinity Stones, each one offering even stronger powers. Level 1 cards, like the Hero's number 1 cards, allow Thanos to guess the number an opponent is holding, and if they guess right, that card is defeated. The Mind Stone, however, allows Thanos to guess a number, and all opponents with that number are defeated. Level 2 cards allow Thanos to defeat an opponent's card if it is level 3 or lower, while the Soul Stone defeats a card that is 3 or higher. Level 3 cards allow Thanos to fight an opponent, while the Space Stone allows Thanos to fight two different opponents separately. Level 4 cards allow Thanos to take a Power Token, and the Power Stone allows Thanos to take three Power Tokens. Level 5 cards allow Thanos to switch his hand around by drawing a card and then discarding a card to the bottom of their deck. The Reality Stone is similar, but allows Thanos to draw and discard two cards. There is a level 6 Time Stone that allows Thanos to turn back the clock and copy the effect of another card in front of them. Finally, Thanos does not have a level 6 card, but rather a level 7 card, which cannot be played but is very good in a fight, and if it is defeated, like the Infinity Stones, will be reshuffled into the Thanos deck after cards have been redrawn. Players will take turns going clockwise around the table until either the Heroes or Thanos wins. Heroes can only win by defeating Thanos from fighting, while Thanos can defeat heroes or collect all the Infinity Stones. The heroes must use teamwork to overcome the Mad Titan and save the universe once and for all. Infinity Gauntlet uses the familiar style of love letter games and twists them into a one versus all battle for all the marbles. Thanos is very powerful, which fits thematically with that character, and our other players representing some of our favorite Marvel heroes really must band together in order to overcome their powerful foe. And if Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game, seems like a game you'd enjoy, consider checking out its page at BoardGameGeek.com to learn more. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here at BoardGameGeek, and we've been going in focus on Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. Have a great day.